at here is one of the best travel power banks I've tested until now. It's sent to me by the brand Cooktech. I never heard of them before, but it ended up that they're the producers of the batteries for LG, Hitachi and Xiaomi. That power bank has a couple of superhuman features. If you have a Xiaomi phone with that power bank, you can use the turbo charge of 120 watts and when you plug it to your phone, it just makes like bloop 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 and your battery is completely full. Of course, it supports fast charger for iPhone and Samsung. When I tested it with the Samsung phone from 0 to 50%, it took around 22-23 minutes and I was really surprised that the chart provided by the brand for charging different phones is really accurate. The power bank supports fast charging and if you're in a hurry, you can bring the battery from 0 to 50% for around 15 minutes. That charge will be enough to fully charge your iPhone battery. With the Samsung, there you have a little bit bigger battery, so it will be enough to charge it to around 80-90%. But it's unbelievable how much energy you can get for just 15 minutes of charging. The power bank takes chargers up to 90 watts and it can supply power of 100 watt to any electronic. That means that you can charge your laptop with it. I tried to emulate heavy usage, so I plugged the laptop to an external screen and on both screens I played YouTube and put the sound on maximum. For half an hour my laptop didn't lose a single percent of battery and the power bank lost around 25%. So with the heavy use that power bank can survive around 2 hours, 2 hours and a little bit. We have two ports, USB-C and USB-A. USB-C is the PD charge that supports up to 100 watt output and the USB-A supports up to 33 watts. I really wish the power bank came with the two USB-C ports because all my devices already are USB-C. You can easily solve that issue if you get such a converter from USB-A to USB-C. But the downside is that it's becoming a little bit bulkier and if you drop it, you can break the port, so you have to carry the adapter with you. In front you have a very nice display and you can see all the information, you have the overall charge of the power bank, you have how much time the power bank will survive with the current output of energy, you have the consumption of the electronics that are connected to the power bank and you have the two different ports. When you press the button once, you break down the information in amperes and volts and if you're charging sensitive equipment like some headphones or some small electronics, just press the button two times and you enter in the low power mode that will protect your electronics. Overall, the power bank feels very solid and well built. It feels like an anchor product. You have a little bit of squeaking here and there, depending where you press the plastic, but it's very minimal. Here is how it sounds on near the microphone. What I really love about it are the small touches. Here on the back side, you have a label for the airport security. You can carry maximum 100 watt hour power bank. That one here is 36 watt hours. Most of my power banks come without that label and every single time I have to calculate manually is my power bank airplane friendly. It's something small, it doesn't change the way how we use the power bank, but it's a really nice touch. It weighs 284 grams. Here is how it looks next to the iPhone Pro. And here is how it looks next to the Samsung S24 Ultra. I was really surprised how budget friendly is that power bank. I expected the price to be much higher. You can check the links in the description because the price varies depending are you in the USA or you're in the Europe. So it's a location based price, but no matter where you are, it's really budget friendly and I really love that product. I can highly recommend it. See you in the next one. Bye.